In this video, we are going to learn about what is principal plane and principal stress, or also called as complex stress. So, to understand concept of principal plane, let us consider two-dimensional rectangular body with different direction of loading with different magnitudes. And due to loading, the stress is induced in rectangular body. The stress is the internal force of resistance, which is set up by body against external force acting on the body. The stresses developed in component are sigma x, sigma y, and tau x y. Here, sigma x and sigma y are normal stresses, and tau x y are shear stresses. The body is going to fail with combination of these stresses. Here, the principal plane may be vertical, horizontal, or inclined. So, to understand principal plane, let us say the arbitrary plane is making an angle theta with reference plane, and the normal stress occurring on this arbitrary inclined plane is sigma n. Now, at certain angle of theta, where plane which carries maximum normal stress. And that plane is called major principal plane, and normal stress induced on that plane is called major principal stress. And major principal stress, that is sigma n one, is calculated by this formula. Similarly, at certain angle of theta, where plane which carries minimum normal stress, and that plane is called as minor principal plane, and normal stress induced on that plane is called minor principal stress. And minor principal stress, that is sigma n two, is calculated by this formula. Theta n one and theta n two will give positions of planes of major principal stress and minor principal stress. So these principal stresses are going to govern the failure condition of your component. On major and minor principal planes, the shear stress value is zero, and these principal planes are called as planes of pure normal stress. But the planes of maximum shear stress are not necessarily planes of pure shear stress, and maximum shear stress, that is tau theta. Is calculated by this formula, and another formula for maximum shear stress. At minimum shear stress, that is tau theta dash, is calculated by this formula, and another formula for minimum shear stress. Here, theta one and theta one dash will give positions of planes of maximum and minimum shear stress. Now, resultant stress sigma r on inclined plane is in between sigma n and tau theta, and I'll take line parallel to tau theta. So from the right angle triangle, we'll get sigma r, that is resultant stress, which is equal to under root sigma n square plus tau theta square. Now angle of obliquity, that is phi, is the angle between sigma theta and sigma r. Now there are some types of planes shown in figure which are not principal planes. In first type of plane having normal stress, but the planes also have shear stress. So this type of plane is not principal plane because. On the principal plane, the shear stress value is zero. In second type of plane, there is stress sigma, which is inclined to plane at an angle theta, but the planes on which normal stresses act are called principal planes. Therefore, second type of plane is not principal plane. In third type of plane, there is shear stress, and for principal plane, the shear stress is zero. Therefore, third type of plane is also not principal plane. 